Okay, I should be live on YouTube, and I'm also live on Zoom, and I think I have someone waiting. I'm going to admit them. We'll see what happens. All right, so Garden is here. Let's see. Hello, Garden. You might need to turn on your microphone, something like that. We'll see. Okay, so today we have a live English lesson, and we're going to be talking see if I can unmute. Ah, there we go. Hello? Hello, Garden, can you hear me? Yes. Aha, uh -huh. wonderful. Okay, so you are live also on YouTube, okay? To make sure you know. <laughs> eh? Only one. Only me. Eh? Yes, right now here in uh, Zoom, it's just you and I right now. And I'm doing the introduction, okay? Or yes. So just uh, bear with me for a moment, and okay. we'll get started with the lesson. Okay. So today we're doing funny life hacks, and this is life hacks number one. Okay. So what we're going to do is describe and explore funny and amusing <clears throat> life hacks. Oop! And I see people in the comments. Maybe I'll show it here so that Garden can see it as well. Right, I see people. M Maria Antonetta says hello from Italy. Hello, Detroit says hi. Red Brandy Cherry says hi, teacher. Hello, hello. Beautiful says I'm Salvadorian. Blessing. So hola y bienvenido. Okay, so we're going to describe and explore funny and amusing life hacks. All right, so maybe a good question is what is a life hack? All right, Garden, are you there? Yes. All right. Can you tell me, do you know what is a life hack? Hack. Mm -hmm. Hack. Do you have any idea what it is? Internet hack. Hack. So a life hack. I put. <laughs> Don't worry. I will, no. I will show the, uh, I will show the meaning in just a moment. And let's see here. So a life hack. Now this is according to Google, uh, a life hack is a strategy or technique adopted in order to manage one's time and daily activities in a more efficient way. Okay, so that's a long definition. Let's see it from another place. Here we go. Merriam Webster says, <clears throat> excuse me, a life hack is a usually simple and clever tip or technique for accomplishing some familiar task more easily and efficiently. Hmm. And I have a third one from dictionary.com. It says a life hack, a tip, trick, or efficient method for doing or managing a day-to-day -day task or activity. A hack, right? So a, sh a hack is usually like a shortcut. It makes something easier. And... Here in dictionary.com, they put life hack together as one word. And uh, Merriam Webster, they do two words. And Google, they do two words as well. So sometimes we hear the definition and it's like maybe not so clear. So let me show you what is a life hack. Okay. All right. So, Garden, <clears throat> can you tell me what do you see in this picture? I spoke. Ice pop, yes. Uh, we could say, uh, what do they call a popsicle stick? An ice popsicle. Sometimes they call them ices, something like that. But they're doing a life hack. What did they put at the bottom of the, the popsicle? What do you think? What is this green pa thing called? Paper, uh -huh. paper cup. Yes, it's similar to a paper cup. That's the right answer. And specifically, let me see if I can find some pictures here. It is, uh, I think it's called a cupcake holder. Uh, cupcake holder. Let's see if it shows. Aha. Uh -huh. So are you familiar with cupcakes? They're just, you know, mini cakes. Mm -hmm. uh, cupcake holder. There we go. It's the paper. So these are the things that they put the cupcakes in before they put them in the oven. And then they bake and then they rise, right? But 
if you put a cupcake holder at the bottom, how does it help you? What is the purpose? What do you think, Garden? Uh, uh. <laughs> or anybody in the comments as well. <laughs> what is the purpose of putting a a uh, cupcake holder at the bottom of the popsicle? What do you think? Well, if if it gets hot out, what will happen to the popsicle? What do you think? What do we say when it gets runny and it starts to what? Melt. Yes. Melt. Yes, it will melt. And when it melts, if you don't have a pop or if you don't have a cupcake holder, it goes down onto your hands and then it gets sticky. <laughs> It's sticky, sticky, yeah. Right. So here is an example of a life hack. They put a cupcake holder to keep your hands clean, right? So a life hack is basically just a shortcut. It's some way to help you and make your life oh. easier, right? All right. So the solution here is to keep your hands so they don't get sticky, right? So that's the life hack. So this is a simple, a simple life hack. So we're going to talk about some kind of funny life hacks today. And let's take a look. I went to, on the internet, I went to a website called blazepress.com. And I found an article. It's called 20 Life Hacks That Prove Students Are the Smartest People Ever. And so I have a few of them. I don't have all of them. But I do have a few of them, and we're going to talk about them. Okay? All right? In the comments, UQ Kawaii says, hi, guys. Hello, hello. All right. So let's take a look at the first one. All right. So here is the life hack. And I made a situation. And you guys are going to help me to fill in the sentence. Okay? So it says, dad was feeling creative. Maybe he had extra imagination. And his solution to keep the party clean was to this. So this is the life hack. What do you think, Garden? How do you think we could describe this life hack? <laughs> what? Keep the party clean was to... Hmm? Right? So sometimes at a party, it's very messy. Let's see, I'm going to uh, put messy party. Uh, so maybe, hmm, messy party, I don't know. We'll say in-house, in a house. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this would be a very messy party, right? <laughs> So you have cups, you have pop bottles, you have food, you have all of this around. And this would be kind of difficult to clean up. So someone came up with a life hack. Let's see. How would you describe this life hack? Right? What do you think, Garden? You have... <laughs> put, but, put the... Uh-huh. Put to my... Put their garbage. Right. By their self. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh huh. So his solution, so dad was feeling creative, which means he had he had an idea. His solution to keep the party clean was to all right, here it is. He took a stool. <laughs> Do you know what is a stool? Let me show you. A wooden stool. All right, let's take a look. Aha, uh -huh, like this. And he, <laughs> and he turned it. How do we say it? Mm. Upside down. Yes. All right. So dad, uh, let's see, was to, we could say, take a stool, uh, turn it upside down, and what? What did he put <laughs> in or on the top? What can we call that? 
Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. And put a plastic garbage bag on the the legs, I guess, of the stool. So let me type it. Take a stool, turn it upside down, and put a plastic garbage bag on the legs of the stool. Hmm? Huh? So that's one way we could say it. We could also say his solution was to uh, put a plastic bag, a plastic garbage bag, on top of an upside down uh, stool. So that's possible. So let's see. Garden, do you want to do some pronunciation? Wait, one, yes. all right, one second. We have someone that's coming. We'll do it in just a moment. Let's see, we have, I think, oops. All right, just one moment. I think someone joined. Guzal G, right? Guzal G, you might need to turn on your, uh, the, the microphone. I think you have to touch something and then, then I will be able to unmute you. Okay, so Garden, here we go. Let's do some pronunciation. Okay, repeat, yes. af repeat after me. Dad was, uh, Dad was feeling creative. <laughs> Dad was feeling creative. Right, okay. So let's see. Let's do the first part, just right here. His solution was, or his solution to keep the party clean was to... Can you read his that? Sorry, it's to to keep the party clean was to uh-huh all right let's do this part repeat after me take a stool turn it upside down and put a plastic garbage bag on the legs of the stool take a stool turn it upside down and put a plastic garbage bag on the legs of the stool right so that was the first way and we could also say it a little bit shorter repeat after me Put a plastic garbage bag on top of an upside down stool. Put a plastic garbage bag on top of an upside down stool. Right. And in the comments, I see Red Brandy Cherry says, make a rubbish bin. Sure. That's a way we could explain it, right? Uh huh. Okay. So, what do you think, Garden? Is this a good life hack? <laughs> Mm. <laughs> good. <laughs> I, I think. <laughs> do, do, let me ask you this. Do you think it will work? Will it function? To walk out. <laughs> right? It's not perfect, but maybe their, <laughs> maybe their garbage can was broken, or maybe they only had uh -huh. one. And uh, in the comments, UQ Kawai says, yeah. It's a good life hack. <laughs> okay. So once again, this is a life hack. And I'm just going to quick review the definition from... We'll do this one. Right? So review the definition. This is from Merriam-Webster, which is a famous dictionary. So let's see. Uh, Garden, let's do some pronunciation. Repeat after me. A, yes. A usually simple and clever tip or technique for accomplishing some familiar task more easily and efficiently. A usually simple and clever tip or technique for accomplishing some familiar task more easily and efficiently. Right. So hopefully, do you, do you think, does this make life easier? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> Yeah, it's not beautiful, right? But it helps, right? It helps. Okay. All right. Let's see. Garden, do you have any questions about this life hack before we go to the next one? No. Okay. All right. Let's take a look. Go ahead. Any no. questions? No? Okay. All right. And right now, just uh, if Guzal G is listening, uh, you don't have to turn on your video. Just like Garden didn't turn on video, that's fine. But if you want to be able to speak, you'll need to... Aha, there it is. Aha. Hello, Guzal? Hello. 
Hello, Michael. Hello, how are you? Great, thank you. Okay, welcome. Today we are doing life hacks. We're here with Garden and also we're here with Guzal G and I'm Michael. So let's go to the next life hack. Here we go. Let's take a look. All right. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So let's see. All right. Let's take a look. The first part it says Crazy Bob stole our shower head. All right. Let's see, Garden or Guzal, do you know what is a shower head? What do you think? Any ideas? How about we'll look? <laughs> the special device for uh huh uh, to <laughs> to make water run. Sure, sure. So let's put it in shower head. It's just the piece, right? The little thing up there that the water comes through and it spreads out so it's easier to, you know, wash and, and, and take a shower or something like that. So, in this life hack, hmm, <laughs> they, they don't have a shower head. So let's see, how can we finish this sentence? Crazy Bob stole our shower head. No worries, we can what? What do you think? Um, Go ahead, Guzal. A bottle. <laughs> <laughs> right? Did, did you say we can use a bottle? Uh, huh? with, uh, uh, with many holes. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Aha. Uh -huh. We can use a, and we'll say a uh, plastic, maybe plastic soda bottle. bottle. Just to be uh, specific, <laughs> use a plastic soda bottle and put holes in the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we can uh, attach, whoops, typing is, can attach it to the pipe, I guess, coming out of the wall. Out of the wall. Ay, 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 my typing is not so good. All right. Okay, so let's see. Garden, are you still there? Yes. Do you think this is a life hack that you would give a thumbs up or a thumbs down? <laughs> thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> and Guzal, what do you think? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Uh, I agree with Garden. <laughs> uh -huh. and is it possible, can we say it is unique? unique? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe? Uh-huh. So, right. They just, they didn't have a shower head. And if there's no shower head, then the water just comes out and it doesn't spread, right? So it's more difficult to take a shower. <laughs> okay. So let's do some pronunciation. I'll, re I'll say it and you guys just repeat after me, okay? Let's see. Crazy Bob stole our shower head. No worries. Crazy Bob stole our shower head. No worries. Right. All right. Let's see. I wonder if we'll do it together. We could take turns. All right. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. We can, and we'll do the whole thing all together. All right. Repeat after me. We can use a plastic soda bottle and put holes in the bottom. Me? Sure, go ahead, Garden. Guzal, I think, uh, had we, muted. <laughs> we can use a plastic soda bottle and put holes in the bottom. Right. All right. Then we can attach it to the pipe coming out of the wall. Then we can attach it to the pipe coming out of the wall. Right. So, uh, do you think, is this a long-term solution? Oh. What do you think, Garden? No. no. <laughs> and, and why, Short term. <laughs> Short term, right. And why is it not a long-term solution? <laughs> oh. mm. Plastic bottle is disposable huh? item. <laughs> sure, sure. Right? <laughs> uh -huh. What do you think, Guzal? 
Mm, I think. What is the question? Is this a long-term solution? Uh, no, uh, it is short, short, um, term solution. I think. Okay, and so so we would say no because why? Garden had said because a bottle is disposable, right? You throw it away. What do you think, Guzal? Mm, it can fall down because of uh, the stream of water. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, let's see. So we could, I'll put both of your answers together. Because a plastic bottle is disposable and it might, I don't know, fall off <laughs> and not work anymore. So maybe, I don't know, a couple days, maybe a week, who knows. Okay, so this was life hack number two. Let's go to another one. All right. First, Guzal or Garden, any questions? About ah, does your kid have a question? <laughs> <laughs> I have answers. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Garden or Guzal, any questions about this life hack? I don't have no, no? questions. Okay. All right. <laughs> and, uh, oh. You can't see it completely, but do you know what kind of soda this is? Hmm? You, uh huh. What kind of soda, what kind of drink is this? What's the name of it? Do you know? Soda. Right, but soda. what is... <laughs> <laughs> right, but there are different kinds, right? There's Pepsi, there's Coke, there's Orange. What is this one? Uh, what do you think? Sprite. <laughs> ah, it's, a, it's a good good guess. Good guess. Now this this is very common in the US and it's owned by Pepsi. Let's see if I can find it. I'm pretty sure it's Mountain Dew. You know what Mountain, Mountain Dew is? Dew. Ah, Mountain mm. Dew. Have you ever drank Mountain Dew Garden? No, I haven't. But yeah, it's just soda. Sometimes they say pop, and I think it's a Mountain Dew bottle. I think it says <laughs> Mountain Dew. But, I mean, any bottle would work, right? You could use Pepsi, you could use Coke. Or maybe it's better to just go to the store and buy a new shower head. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's move to the next one. Let's see. Oh, it gets better. Here we go. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So our situation is Henry was upset with having to eat cold pizza in a hotel. Let's see, Garden or Guzal, can you guys tell me what does the word upset mean in this situation? What do you think? Get angry. Huh? Sure. It could be get angry. It could be to get a little bit... Uh, Maybe frustrated could work as well. Huh? Okay, so let's see. Guzal's microphone is on mute. If you want to talk, just unmute. That's no problem. Let's see. He decided to... What do you think? Using this picture, this situation, how would we finish this sentence? Do you have any ideas, Garden? Or Guzal? He decided to <laughs> warm up. Uh huh. Uh huh. Good. Good. Good Either start. Warm up on the iron. Iron. Mm hmm. Okay. So let's see what we can put in here because there are different ways to say it. I heard you say warm up and heat up. We'll use both of them. We'll just do them different. He decided to warm up his slice of pizza on. We could say the bottom. Of an iron. Uh huh. Also, <laughs> what <laughs> what what do we call this thing right here? Ah, let's see. Dryer. Yes. It's and, a dryer. <laughs> in the comments, here we go. Yuku Kawai to put his iron and hair dryer to warm up the pizza. <laughs> Right. So this is a great life hack. Maybe not very safe, but okay. 
So let's see. So also, he is blowing hot air on the top of the pizza with his uh, blow dryer. I think that's two words. Huh? In garden, what do we usually use a blow dryer for? What is the normal use? To dry our hair. Right. Do, do you think, do, do I use a blow dryer? <laughs> you, you, you don't need. I don't need it, right? So if, if, if someone gave me a gift of a blow dryer, I would say thank you. But I would say that's kind of strange, right? Okay. <laughs> so you had also said heat up. We could say heat up too. So let me try another option. He decided to, let's see, Henry was upset with having to eat cold pizza in a hotel. He decided to heat up uh, his pizza uh, using a, an iron and a blow dryer. I'm going to be more specific now. We could say he looks like he put the dryer in a basket, maybe. I mean, I'm sorry, the iron, the iron in a basket. We'll say he put the iron upside down in a basket. Uh, put the pizza on top. Oop, on top. And blew hot air on it from the dryer. All right, from the blow dryer. You can say blow dryer. You can also say hair dryer. Remember my sisters, they had long hair and they would use blow dryers. And it was very loud and annoying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's see. All right. So let's do some pronunciation. Are you ready, Garden? Yes. Here we go. Henry was upset with having to eat cold pizza in a hotel. Henry was upset with having to eat cold pizza in a hotel. Right. And let's see if I can connect these. He decided to warm up his slice of pizza on the bottom of an iron. He decided to warm up his slice of pizza on the bottom of an iron. Right. Uh-huh. And this one, we can you repeat? Say iron. Iron. I iron. Right. It sounds a little bit funny. It looks like iron or iron. It's to see if I can do it here. Iron sounds like I, you know, like the word I. I. I iron. Iron. <laughs> it's kind of like, uh huh. Iron. So let's see. Let's do it three times. I'll say it three times and then you say it three times. Here we go. Iron, iron, iron. I am, I am, I am. Right. Uh huh. And we could also make it sound like a word, the word earn, like earn money, right? Iron, iron. Huh? I earn. Huh. I earn. <laughs> right. Good, good. <laughs> All right. So let's do that sentence again so we get the, the word in the whole context. Here we go. Repeat after me. He decided to warm up his slice of pizza on the bottom of an iron. He decided to warm up his slice of pizza on the bottom of an iron. Right, good, iron, good, good. Also, he is blowing hot air on the top of the pizza with his blow dryer. Also, he is blowing hot air on the top of the pizza with his blow dryer. Right, let's see if I can move this one so it's on top. And then I can connect it. All right, here we go, second one. He decided to heat up his pizza using an iron and a blow dryer. He decided to heat up his pizza using an iron and a blow dryer. Right. And I'm taking a peek at the people in the comments. If you guys are doing pronunciation with us, I hope you are, put some apples in the comments. It lets us know that you're participating. All right. All right. Next sentence. Here we go. Repeat after me. He put the iron upside down in a basket, put the pizza on top, and blew hot air on it from the hair dryer. He put the iron upside down in a basket, put the pizza on top, and blew hot air on it from the hair dryer. 
Right. And just a quick question. When it says it, what are we talking about? What is it? Hot air on it. Pizza. It. Right. Right. The pizza. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only option too, right? <laughs> okay. So let's see. Uh, if you just say pizza, people might think the whole thing, right? But if you say a slice of pizza, then it's very specific, right? Just one slice. Huh? And Garden, do you like to eat pizza? Yes. What kind of pizza? Potato Ooh. and mayo. Potato and mayo. <laughs> Interesting. Potato and mayo pizza. Like that? M mayo, mayo? Mayo. Like m mayonnaise, right? Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise, okay. Interesting. Uh huh. Like this? Yes. Ooh. And do you mind if I ask what country are you in that you eat this pizza? Eh? What, My uh, country? Yes. If it's okay if Japan. I. Japan. Ah, Japan. Ah, so it says down here Domino's Japan. <laughs> Very good. Uh huh. So, is this where you got your pizza from Domino's Japan? Hmm? Or do, do you buy your pizza from Domino's or do you make it at home? Uh, both. Both. Uh huh. Domino's. Very interesting. And if you had to give it zero to five stars, how many stars would you give this pizza? 4.5. 4. Ooh, must be pretty good then. Uh -huh. <laughs> Interesting. Well, thank you for telling me about <laughs> potato and mayonnaise. <laughs> Very interesting. For me, I, I'm kind of simple. I just usually like cheese pizza. Very simple, delicious, and just mm mm mm. Right. But maybe someday I will have to try. Potato and my my mayonnaise pizza. Interesting. Okay, so let's go back to our life hack. Okay, so what would you say? Thumbs up or thumbs down on this one, Garden? Mm. <laughs> thumbs down. And and why? Why would you say thumbs down on this life hack? Mm -hmm. mm. After that, <laughs> next to. Customer ah. can't use. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, let's see. If I can make a copy and I'll try to type in what I think you're trying to say. We could say, uh, this is not, and we'll make it big. We'll say, not a good <laughs> life hack. The next person who tries to use the iron, maybe? <laughs> we'll have we'll uh let's see we'll we'll have a an unpleasant surprise huh, oop. gotta put an a in there right so when they try to iron their clothes they're gonna be like smells like <laughs> pizza <laughs> <laughs> smells up <laughs> smells like pizza and my shirt it's burning right uh -huh. Right. I I think the hair dryer will be okay as long as they don't touch. But maybe it will still smell. Maybe the next person their hair will smell like pizza. Ah, pizza. we could put that. Let's see. Uh the next person who tries to use iron will have an unpleasant surprise uh and have difficulty ironing their clothes. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so I would say this is original, right? It's kind of unique an idea, but it's probably not that good. Uh huh. And Maria Antonetta Pellegrini says oil and tomato stains. <laughs> right, right. All over their shirt, and they'll be like, ah. Okay. All right, Garden. Any questions before we go to the next life hack? No. No questions? I'm okay. 
Okay. Oh, let me ask you a quick question. Um, and, and also for people in the comments, what is the location of this picture? What do you think? Where was this picture taken? In the bathroom. Say it again. Bathroom. Aha. Uh -huh. In the bathroom, right. In the bathroom of a hotel, I suppose. And how do we know that it's a bathroom? What? Huh? Amenity. <laughs> Amenity goods. Towel. Uh, yes, yes. Uh huh. Oh. We could say there are toiletry ice items. Ah, the toiletry. Toiletry, I think that's how you spell it. Toiletry items. Like, uh, a, I think it's a washcloth or like a small towel. Wash cloth. Uh, I think there is soap. I think this is soap. And what do you think this one is? Oh, we can kind of see body lotion, right? Mm. And body lotion, right? And let's see, Garden, do you know what is a washcloth? Washcloth? Huh? Washcloth. It's, it's kind of like a towel, but a little bit different. Let's take a look. So, let's see. When you go to a hotel, they probably give you a hotel towel set. Like at the Hilton Hotel, for example. Let's just use them because they're well known. Okay, so we have a towel set. Let's see. Which one has all? Okay, maybe this one. All right. So the small ones, like the square ones, are called a washcloth. And you can use them for your face or whatever. When I used to shave, sometimes I would take a hot washcloth and I would put it here before I shaved because it made my face nice and soft. Uh, the mini-sized towels in between, these are called hand towels. And then the big one is called a bath towel. So let's take a look. I'll just show you what a washcloth is. All right? So it's just a small one. Washcloth. Washcloth. Okay. Right, washcloth. And then the other one was hand towel, which is a little bit bigger, but not that big. And then you have the bath towel, which is the big one that you probably use for your body, maybe hair, stuff. Okay, so... Right, I would agree <clears throat> this picture was probably taken in a hotel bathroom and the person was feeling desperate. They're like, I hate cold pizza. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. And Garden, do you like to eat uh, cold pizza or do you only like hot pizza? Hot pizza only. Only hot pizza. Uh huh. I like, or can you ask me? Ask me the question. Hmm? Hmm? Which, Ask, yes. What kind of pizza do you like? Huh? Hot or cold? Uh -huh. Ah, no, no. <laughs> in in <laughs> ingredients. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I meant to ask me the same question, but it's okay. I will answer ah. both. Okay, go ahead. Ask me the same question I asked you. What? About hot and cold pizza. Ask the question. Which do you like co eat to eat cold pizza? Uh -huh. <laughs> or cold pizza? <laughs> <laughs> right. Which do you prefer? Which do you like more? Hot or cold pizza? And I like both. I like cold pizza too. Oh. Yes. After you eat pizza at night it, or whenever you buy it, it's hot. Tastes wonderful. But then I put it in the refrigerator if there's extra. Mm -hmm. And for lunch, I eat cold pizza. Huh? Okay. I think it's good. It, but it depends on the person. Okay. All right. So let's go to the next life hack. Are you ready, Garden? 
Yes. I'm All right, ready. let's see. And Guzal, are you still there? I don't know. You're connected. Maybe you're just watching. That's fine. No problem. All right, let's go to the next one. Hmm, which one should I do? I'm looking at my time. Let's see. <laughs> oh, she chat said she's here. Ah. All right, okay, sure. So you're welcome to watch if you're unable to speak or turn your microphone on, no problem. More the merrier. Okay, so let's take a look at the next life hack. Da -da -da. Oh. Huh? Let's see. Guzal, did I switch off your microphone? Give me one second. I Let's see. Guzal, I think you might need to turn it on. Oh. Because, aha. Guzal, are you there? <laughs> I, I, I apologize if I turned off your microphone. It was not intentional. Sorry. <laughs> okay. But it, thanks for hanging around. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Um, I think let's do this one. Okay. So the situation is steaks, check. Grill, uh-oh. Wait, don't worry. We can. <laughs> what do you think? Let's see, Guz Let's see, Guzal, do you want to take this one? We can what? What do you think? Wait. Trying to unmute. Maybe you had muted your microphone. Give her a moment to answer. If not, then Okay, maybe she's unable to answer. No problem. Oh, there. No, something wrong with microphone, sir. Okay, no problem. Oh, I hear a baby too. Do you, Do you want to answer, or are you busy? <laughs> I'm a little bit busy, but I want to. <laughs> okay, okay. It, it's do you, so. Do you want to try to finish the sentence, or what do you think? <clears throat> ah, it's okay. There's probably the baby. <laughs> All right, Garden, do you want to try? Yes. What do you think? How would you use we this? Uh-huh. Go ahead. Use cart. Ah, what kind? <laughs> 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 we can use a what kind? Shopping cart. Yes, yes, it's a shopping cart. Huh? Okay, let's see. Uh huh. Yes, Maria Antonetta Pellegrini says shopping cart. Yes, Vera Kalugina says use a trolley dash. Hmm, I'm not sure. Maybe in the UK they say trolley. I'm not sure it's possible. Let's put it in. Trolley dash. Ah, <laughs> trolley. I guess maybe they call it a trolley for shopping. Is that right? Ah, well, I'm learning something new. So I'm from the U.S., so I speak American English. I have not been to the U.K., but they have some words that are a little bit different, so I guess they can say a shopping trolley. All right, great. So I learned something new as well. All right, so, Garden, like you said, we can use a shopping cart. All right, and let's see. Garden, can you try to be more specific and explain what? What did they do with the shopping cart? They, mm, mm. <laughs> to grill meat. Right. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Uh, they have like the fireplace, the fire pit, the area for the fire, but they don't have the grill. So. Let's see, we'll be more specific. We can take a shopping cart, uh, flip it over onto its side, and put it on top, on top of the fire pit, All right? And first I'm gonna look up fire pit, because it's common at campsites to see a fire pit. All right, so 
Uh, there are different possibilities, but it's kind of like this one. So it has bricks around the side, and uh, there was no grill, but they're like, no problem. We have a shopping cart. Right. So, uh, let's see, take a shopping cart, flip it over onto its side, and put it on top of the fire pit because the side of the shopping cart is like a grill. <laughs> uh huh. All right. So that's a long sentence, but I think it'll work. Okay. All right. All right. So let's do it. Are you ready for pronunciation, Garden? Yes. All right. Let's do it. We'll do the first part all together and repeat after me. Steaks, check. Grill, uh-oh. Wait, don't worry. Steaks, check. Grill, uh-oh. Wait, don't worry. All right. We can use a shopping cart. We can use a shopping cart. All right. So now this is the really long sentence, but it'll work. So here we go. All right. We can take a shopping cart, flip it over onto its side, and put it on top of the fire pit because the side of the shopping cart is like a grill. We can take a shopping cart, flip it over onto its side, and put it on top of the fire pit because the side of the shopping cart is like a grill. Hmm. What do you think, Garden? Thumbs up or thumbs down? <laughs> Thumbs down. <laughs> Thumbs down. I see. I see in the comments. Uh, Ovgun, wait. Ika Fajarani says very creative. <laughs> yes. And when you get when you get uh, desperate, or maybe they're really hungry, right? Because how do you cook the steaks if you don't have a grill? I suppose you could put them on a stick, and then hold them. But yeah. So, and Garden, why do you think this is maybe not a good idea? Um, the the owner, <laughs> owner, uh huh. The person person went to the supermarket. Uh huh. Buy <laughs> buy some. Grill item. <laughs> right? And? Mm. And they, they kept no, the shopping uh, cart. They <laughs> should they should buy <laughs> other grill item. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? So maybe they were in the store. And they're like, hmm, let's see if we can buy a portable grill. Oh, grill. Take a look. Okay, so here's a portable grill. Mm -hmm. And then they're portable. like, ah, so here, repeat after me. Portable grill. Portable grill. Right. Great. And uh, the Americans, we say the T kind of like a D. So it's portable grill. Portable grill. Right. Now you sound like an American. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So maybe they were shopping and like, oh, we need to get a grill. And then they're like, oh, we don't have enough money. <laughs> and they're like, wait. Let's see. Shopping cart. This shopping cart. Someone's like, ding. <laughs> I have an idea. Right. And they're like, ah, who needs a grill? We have a shopping cart. All right. So what do you think the store owner, the owner of the grocery store will think if he or she sees this? What do you think, Garden? The owner. Owner. Upset. Uh -huh. and, and why? I agree, but why, why would they be mm. upset? Mm. It, it should be returned. Yes, it should be brought back. Mm. Huh? And what will happen to it? What will the fire do to the shopping cart? 
<laughs> mm. Ah, and I'm I'm going to need to restart restart my uh my meeting. Okay, it's going to stop, but I'm going to restart it. Okay. Okay. All right. So you're welcome to come back. I'm going to restart it right now. Okay. Right. Okay. Let me figure that out here. Right. One second. Okay. I'm going to start it. Be moment. Be patient with me on YouTube. All right. We're going to share the screen. Advanced. Aha. Uh -huh. There we are. Okay, I'm back. Okay, well, let's see if they come back. They're welcome to come back. <clears throat> Just right now, I'm on the free version of Zoom, and they give me 40 minutes, right? So I'm thinking to upgrade. We'll see what happens. All right. Hello, Garden. Oh, let's see. I might have to turn. There we go. Let's unmute. Welcome back. Yes. I'm okay. Back. All right. So here we go. We're back. And if, let's see. So what will the fire do to the shopping cart? How can we describe that? Can... <laughs> Bond. <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We could say, where did it go? One second. Right, the fire will uh, kind of burn, kind of char, maybe. The fire will make it kind of black, right? The fire will burn the shopping cart and make it turn black. Right, it pr it probably it probably won't melt it, but it just might change the color, especially if you have steaks on it. <laughs> because what happens when you cook a steak, Garden? What comes out of the steak when you cook it? Smoke. Uh huh. Huh? And let's see if I can find a picture of cooking steaks. Right? Okay. So if you're cooking a steak, sometimes. Like the the fat will melt, right? And the grease and the stuff, it drips down. So it's going to get on the shopping cart and then the fire will make it black. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think it's a creative idea, just like uh, Ika Fajarani had said, very creative, but probably thumbs down. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So let's see. Any questions about this one, Garden? Steaks, check. What is check? Ah, good, good question. Because if you have the question, someone else probably has the question too. Good, good question. All right, let me show you. It's check. It's short for a check mark. Check, check. Ah. So. <laughs> uh huh. So it's kind of it's like saying uh, steaks. Yes, we have steaks. Grill, eh, we can't say check because we don't have a grill, right? So check. So do you understand now? Yes. Good. <laughs> good. But it's good because sometimes we'll say, can you please check on the baby, right? But that's not what we mean here. You say to check on the baby, please go and see how is the baby. But here we mean check as in yes, check, check mark. <laughs> okay. Any other questions? Good question. Any more questions, Garden, or is everything okay? Everything okay. All right. Okay. All right. Let's see. I'm looking at the time here. Woo, getting close, but we'll quick. We'll jump into the last one because it's very unique. <laughs> Okay, I need to stop smiling first, get focused, here we go. The wedding, the wedding starts in five minutes. All right, Garden, can you tell me what is a wedding? 
wedding ceremony. Mm -hmm. And what happens at a wedding? Wedding party. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> sure. So maybe That's, go ahead. Yes. Huh? Did, did you say bridesmaids and the groom and the bride and they get married and right? Mm -hmm. And how do people usually dress at a wedding? What do you think? Men, men, men wear tuxedo. Yes. Uh -huh. And women? Women dress. <laughs> right. Oh, just dress. Right. So let's take a look. We'll put a uh, wedding. Uh, wedding. This wedding. See what happens. Okay, so we have people, they dress very nice, right? Very formal. They want to you know, celebrate the wonderful occasion. So they dress really nice. Okay, so <laughs> in this situation, the wedding starts in five minutes. I can fix the hole in my sock by... What do you think, Garden? I can fix my sock by... Hmm. Pen. Painting. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Painting what? Painting nail. Ah, my toenail black. Huh? So on on our fingers we have fingernails, right? But on our feet we have toenails. Toenails. Toenail black. Uh huh. My toenail black, and we can also we can say it a different way, but still communicate the same thing. Uh huh. Vera Kalugina says by markers. All right. I can fix the hole in my sock by using a black marker to color the nail of my big toe black. All right. So. We could say nail of my big toe because then it's very specific on this one, right? It's not this one, it's not this one. All right. So, all right, before we talk about it, maybe we will do pronunciation. Are you ready, Garden? Yes. All right, here we go. The wedding starts in five minutes. The wedding starts in five minutes. Right. So we have exclamation. So, ah, right, they're in a hurry. Here we go. Uh, I can fix the hole in my sock by painting my toenail black. I can fix the hole in my sock by painting my toenail black. Right. All right. Let's take a look. We'll do this one a little bit longer. I can fix the hole in my sock by using a black marker to color the nail of my big toe black. I can fix a hole in my sock by using a black marker to color the nail of my big toe black. Right. And I suppose we should say fix like this, right? Why do you think I put quotations around the word fix? What do you think? Fix. Huh? Are, are we actually fixing the sock? pretend to fix yes very good so the question are we actually fixing the sock Oop. we would say no we are pretending <laughs> pretending to fix the sock right so let's see uh here we go why don't you repeat after me are we actually fixing the sock are we actually fixing the sock? No, we're pretending to fix the sock. No, we are pretending to fix sock. All right, Garden, I need to know your opinion. Is this a long-term or short-term solution? Obviously, <laughs> short-term <laughs> solution. Hmm. Solution. <laughs> hey, what do you think? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs up. <laughs> it, it, why do you say thumbs up? Mm, in five minutes. Ah, it's mm, a. It can 
be helped. Uh -huh. It's a quick solution, right? Yes. <laughs> right? A quick solution for a simple problem. Okay. But what is the what is the problem if you do this to your toe? Uh. <laughs> what, what what happens after the wedding when everybody goes home? <laughs> Ma, mm, no uh -huh. problem. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no problem. It's not no a problem. Ma maybe it's not a problem, uh, but it's difficult to clean, right? Because it's probably called a uh, what a permanent marker. Permanent marker. All right. Can you tell me what is the difference between a permanent marker and like a whiteboard marker? Ah. What is the difference? The marker is. Huh? Can't vanish. <laughs> Yes, the permanent, right? Permanent means fixed. It's not going to move easily. So permanent marker, you'll be like, eh. <laughs> and it won't come off, and you're like, ah, right? But if you have the whiteboard marker, what can you do? What is the word? If we can, we can clean it quick, easy. What do we say? Hmm? There's a word that starts with e. E. And you, uh huh. And when you want to clean, clean the whiteboard, or maybe if you write with a pencil and you want to, let's see, what do we think? Let's see, we can say erase. 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 Ah. Yes. And we use an eraser, right? Right. This could be for a pen or a pencil. A whiteboard. There we go. Whiteboard eraser. Uh huh. Okay. Um, if if you use permanent marker on the whiteboard, good luck. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh huh. In the comments, Duotome says erase. Good, good. Vera Kalugina says it is hard to wash permanent markers. Yes. Right. Okay. Let's see. Uh, any questions, Garden, about this wonderful life hack? Wonderful. Any questions? No, I'm okay. Okay. Are Are you going to try this life hack? <laughs> no. No. But I wanted to try pizza. <laughs> Aha. Okay. <laughs> so that's good. I'm going to ask you because we looked at four life hacks today, right? Hmm. Number. Let's see if it's here. Yep, number one. Number two, let me just quick. Number one was the plastic bag on top of the upside down stool, right? Number two is using the plastic soda bottle as a shower head and then putting holes in the bottom. Number three <laughs> is using the iron and the blow dryer to heat up the pizza, right? Oh, I guess we did five. Number four was to use the shopping cart on its side as a grill. And then number five is to use the permanent marker to, <laughs> to make it look like you don't have a hole in your sock. So we had five options. Which one did you like the best? Pizza. <laughs> Pizza on the aisle. Uh -huh. On the iron. And why did you like this one the best? The size is fit. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> right. Uh huh. So if they if they want to heat up the whole pizza, they have to do one by one, <laughs> one by one. Uh huh. Right. Okay. So if if I'm thinking, which one did I like the best? Okay. Uh, okay. Better. Better. Pretty good. Pretty good. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to go for, I oh, know this is pretty good one, isn't it? It's very unique. They use different technology too. 
<laughs> yeah, I think I will agree with you because I, I would not think to do this, right? This is very creative. <laughs> I, I don't think the hotel people would be happy, but it is creative. It's very creative. So I will agree with you. I will say this one is the winner because it's the most creative. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's take a look. Today, move something down here. Today we talked about funny life hacks. This was number one. So I think it went well. I might do another one in the future because there are many. People are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and there are many different kinds. So let's take a look. Let's review what did we do. And if we finished, all right, our goal was to describe and explore funny and amusing life hacks. And I would say yes. Oh, actually, I don't have to move that. I can just put it here. Aha. Uh -huh. So we described, we talked about funny and amusing life hacks. The word funny and the word amusing are very similar. Uh, what do you think, Garden? What is the difference between funny and amusing? What do you think? Funny is. Mm. <laughs> uh -huh. I think same. <laughs> it's similar. Yes, it's similar. And it, it's possible to be different because funny can be like, you know, you laugh. Ha 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 ha. It's so funny, right? Amusing could just be it's something that you want to look at because it's entertaining, right? So maybe. Oh, okay. Maybe it's not funny, maybe it is funny, but it can also be something that's not funny, but you want to look because it's amusing, right? Let's see. Um, if, uh, if people saw this one, let's see, they might say it's not funny, but it's amusing. They, they, <laughs> they think, oh, it's entertaining. These people are kind of strange. <laughs> uh huh. And then other people might say, oh, this one is funny. Or maybe they'll say, okay, it's amusing. It's entertaining. Okay. All right. So let's take a look. I'm just about at the end today. Let's see. So I always say improve your English, become more valuable. Improve your ability to communicate and you have more value, right? It doesn't just have to be English. It could be whatever your skills are. Computer skills, teaching skills, driving skills, whatever. Improve and you become more valuable. All right, so let's take this. We'll do this quick. Uh, if you like our stuff, feel free to subscribe at YouTube. If you're already subscribed, there's a bell button and you can click on it. Oop. And then uh, YouTube will let you know when we have new stuff. And I also wanted to mention that now Able Lingo is also on Telegram, so right here, we're Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Telegram as well. I'm just going to quick show you, we've been busy. This is the first week on Telegram, and it's just at Abolingo. And so, G Garden, do you use Telegram? Yes. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So if you want, you can check out Abolingo. Uh, this week we're doing food and drink. So this is some of the stuff that we already did. We did vocabulary. We uh oh a video aha uh -huh. and then <laughs> we did a quiz and I explained it. Uh, I have you guys doing different things. We have phrasal verbs and tomorrow's Wednesday, so tomorrow I think we're describing something. Right. Oh, and here we are. So if you guys are interested in Telegram or if you use Telegram, feel free to check out uh, Able Lingo. All right, so the last thing we're going to do when I end my lesson, I like to show a picture. Here we go. All right, so what do you think, Garden? Let's describe this picture. What do you see? What do we call these things? They're very useful. Lamp. <laughs> Say it again. Lamp. Lamp, aha, uh -huh. it's the right idea, right? Because it gives light. We can call it a, let me find the pictures here, a light bulb, light bulb. Bulb. Ah, so each one is called a light bulb, right? 
So we have many light bulbs. And how do we say if they're like this? Da, 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 da. All, what do we say? Line, line up. Yes, we have many light bulbs lined up, like 10 maybe or 12, 13, 12, I don't know. So we have many light bulbs lined up straight in a line, right? And how do we describe the one in the middle? What would you say? What do you think, Garden? How do we describe the one that is different from the other ones? Tan. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. Right on. Uh huh. I think you have the right idea. We can uh -huh. say. Go ahead. Uh huh. Uh huh. See, Vera Kalugina in the comments said, uh, "One of many is unique." Yes. Right. Right. And specifically, we can say the light bulb that's close to the middle is turned on. It's turned on. Turned on. Right. Turned huh? on. <laughs> Vera Kalugina says, a genius. <laughs> <laughs> Someone had an idea. They're like, ding. Right. So the light bulb turned on. They had an idea. So we could say of all these light bulbs, only one is turned on. The one in the middle is turned on. And the others are turned what? What do we say, Garden? Turned, turned off. Yes, right. So these are all turned off, and this one is turned on. Okay. All right, so a simple picture, but it's good for vocabulary. All right, so that is it. Garden, I want to say thank you very much for hanging out. And it was, I hope, <laughs> and did, I hopefully, did you have a good time? I, I was glad to join it first time. <laughs> Great. Wonderful. I've noticed you have been in the comments a lot, right? It's very nice to meet you and speak with you. Okay. All right. So you're welcome to come back in the future. I'm going to end the meeting now because I need to go do some other stuff. It's getting late here. So have a wonderful, see, if you're in Japan, it's nighttime. <laughs> so have yeah. a have a wonderful <laughs> night garden you too all right thank you thank you and bye-bye you